Film and television star Mabatu Muntu is exploring new avenues as she directs her first theater production, Frontier. It's a collection of testimonies African migrants who live in South Africa have been telling. Now, Mabatu Muntu is joining us now in the studio. Mabatu, good morning. Thank you very much. Good morning. Thanks, Thanks for, for coming me. through. Yeah, I mean, you. Uh, I'm, uh, uh, you were laughing at me a little bit, chuckling there when I thought, oh, you, you, you're still an actress. You said, no, I'm directing. I said, oh, okay, I'm sort of like out of touch. Directing your first theater, mm -hmm. you're, mostly, you're mostly film and TV. Yes, okay. primarily film and TV yeah. director. Why theater now? Just, let's just start there before we talk about Frontiers. Uh, why theater? Yes. Uh, well, I'd been speaking to James Nobo uh, for quite some okay. time, uh, okay. James Nobo from the Market, Market Theater. theater yeah. yes. Um, and we'd always spoken about collaborating. He saw a film that I directed uh, a few years ago, okay. and, and he said, oh, why don't you come and do something in the theater? Uh, so we looked at a few scripts. Some fell through that we really liked. Some didn't work out. Um, so this was the first one that And then this worked. one appealed to you. Yes. This is a, the stories of uh, personal testimonies, I'm told, yes. given by migrants from various African countries, including our neighbor, Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. and the likes of uh, Cameroon, the DRC, DRC, Cameroon, and everywhere. Somalia. So what about this script particularly spoke to you in terms of doing it? Uh, I think first and foremost, the exciting thing was that uh, this was told from the migrants point of view, not from a, a savior's point of view or from a South African perspective. Um, and these are verbatim, it's verbatim theatre, so it's word for word um, the testimonies that people delivered and the actors are just, you know, uh, delivering what was said word for word. So that was the first um, really interesting thing for me and I think uh, it's an important play because it, it sort of deals with the misconceptions about why and how people come to, to South Africa. Most people are forced migrants. They're forced to leave their families at home uh, because of varying circumstances, wars, um, you name it. Yeah, and, and the, we have this misunderstanding which is broadly in South Africa, mm. and then we see this tension that m sometimes becomes violent, mm. and in our communities largely we tend to blame uh, for an African migrants in mm. particular, yes. for the all kinds of ills that we are faced with currently. Yes, and I mean, uh, one, of th one of the biggest misconceptions is that people choose to live here undocumented, but that's simply not true. Um, it's one of the topics that the play explores, how people have gone to the Desmond Tutu uh, Refugee Reception Center to try and get documented, and they're told to come back next week and next week and next yeah, week. In fact, uh, just a couple months, of weeks so ago, yeah. we, we, we went to the Pretoria one in, uh, in yes, that's the one. Uh, Marabastad. Yes, it used there. to be called Marabastad. Yeah, now it's and called there's the no more queue there, and some of them were telling our, our, our reporters on the ground that uh, you know they've been going they're queuing for months and months, months sometimes years yeah. and they not they don't get it so yeah. the system is letting them down the system is letting them down and for many people who are looking for work they need a permit and if you don't have a permit you can't get a job but you also can't get a job without a permit it's it's it, 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 the people are sent from pillar to post and that's why people end up having to find other means to survive yeah. uh, is the show is, is the show currently on it's currently on it's running until the 7th of July at the market theater and so far how is it doing uh, the reception has been really fantastic. Uh, we've had full nights almost every night, even from the previews. Uh, mm -hmm. We already had a uh, quite big audience. Uh, the response is great, um, and people feel like they've been educated. Yeah, and uh, for how long you said it's, it's running? You it's said running until the 7th of July. The 7th of July. Yes. Now, this is a very important uh, kind of topic to explore and debate. The audience, I mean, from the sense you're getting mm. as this show has been going on, are, are they getting the message really? Absolutely. I mean, on opening night uh, last week, Thursday, we had a Q&A um, immediately after, okay. after the play. Um, I wish we'd have Q&As after every, every screening, but... Um, yeah, I mean, the engagement was, was pretty robust, and um, a lot of people who said they didn't know um, were, were glad that, you know, they came to the play and they got this information. And then there were, of course, a lot of people from different parts of Africa who came to watch the play, and they said, wow, this is spot on. This has been yeah. my experience as well. Are you planning to expose this to more South Africans? Um, the writer of the play, Bobby Rodwell, does this sort of thing, um, verbatim theater, which she takes then to communities. Okay. So hopefully the market theater is just the starting point, and then we can take the play to different parts of the community. We hope to be invited by different platforms, and then we can share the work. And Frontier, is it a starting point for you in theater? <laughs> um, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs>
But how are you finding the experience? I mean, look at you. You, <laughs> you, you love talking about it. You, you're coming alive. I mean, you've done film and TV, and this yeah. is your first theatre. Well, look, I, I consider myself a storyteller primarily. So whichever platform calls me, um, depending on how compelling the story is, that's where I'll go. Yeah. So, so we'll see. But can we say the bug is bitten a bit? I mean... Mm, yeah. Is theater yeah. and film and TV is a bit different? Oh, of course, completely you know? different. Yes. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, James Nobo has already invited me to do two other plays, so we'll see how that goes. No, we yeah. wish you well. Thank you very and, much. And thank you very much for coming thank through. You. And all the best. That's Mabato Monsu, who just has her debut <laughs> as a director of a theater production, Frontiers, that's been documenting personal testimonies of African migrants who live in South Africa, challenging some of the stereotypes and uh, really exposing how ignorant we can be sometimes and how the system in this country is failing those who seek a better life in our country.